we spend a lot of our time uh, talking about ways that we can help people adapt. And when we say adapt, it's really to adopt a new way of doing business. It's not necessarily that our technology uh, and, the, and the infrastructure that we offer, although it's highly scalable and very cost effective and you can do some great things with it, it's the you that matters. And it's, it's you that's going to actually do the great things. People ask us a lot, um, hey Scott, when are you going to create a core banking platform? Or Scott, when are you gonna completely change back office clearing? And my answer to them is I'm not going to do that. You're going to do that, we want to enable you. What we wanted to do is really talk about some of our innovative customers in the financial services space. Now, I'm not going to steal the thunder of the guys that are here from both Trady or Bar Chart and Trady Technologies. Uh, they're going to they're speak about their particular businesses, and we're very proud to be partnered with them uh, and providing them with infrastructure to, to help run these businesses. Uh, but also, Karim's going to talk about some of the exciting things in APAC as well. So I'd actually rather start with you to kind of give us a viewpoint of what's going on at APAC from an innovation standpoint. Uh, tell us about fintech there in the region. I think specifically you've got some great examples that will, that will kind of resonate with the, with the crowd. Um, so one of the examples is a company called Eight Securities. It's a customer of ours based in Hong Kong. Um, they launched just a few years ago. Now today they have $750 million um, under management. And the way they got this money was actually because they launched a product that was designed uh, for the young generations, for the mobile generations, for the socially connected generations. Um, and the product is really simple. So the idea is you're a young person, you've got money to invest, but you don't know where to start because invest, investing money is quite complicated. Um, so their platform is purely mobile. You log in, you do a survey, it gets a profile of you as an investor, whether you want a high risk or low risk profile. And then what it does is it generates a portfolio for you that's based on ETFs. The ETFs themselves are actually supplied by Vanguard and BlackRock and other, other players. And the portfolio management um, is driven by Morningstar. So they've got a, a partnership with Morningstar. One of the key trends that we're seeing across the board is around simplification. Um, so customers are saying that both consumers and also businesses, that banking in general is very uh, complex. And they want the experience to be a lot more simple. So if we look at China, uh, you have companies uh, like uh, WeChat. So within WeChat, you can do all kinds of interesting transactions. So it's not just messaging your friends. You can actually book taxis. It'll identify where your friend is, where you are, set up a taxi, you can go point to point. You can actually pay at vending machines, so they support payments. Um, they actually launched an API where, you can, um, where developers can integrate and have storefronts, retail storefronts, within the WeChat application. The other thing they're doing now is uh, payments peer-to-peer, -peer. and now some of the banks in China are actually listing their uh, consumer credit products in a storefront inside of WeChat. We've developed over the last few years a machine learning capability that we use on our own website and, and, and powers recommendation engines, it powers large portions of our business intelligence. So actually today, the recommendation, sorry, the, the Amazon machine learning system does 50 billion predictions every single day. So what we decided to do was actually commercialize the technology and make it available to developers. And the machine learning service, which is available through AWS, actually really removes the barrier to entry for developers that want to experiment with machine learning. And the way that it works is quite simple. You upload your data set, and the machine learning service actually develops the model for you, which means that you don't need to invest time in data scientists, developing data scientists, purchasing data scientists. Um, you don't need to understand statistical probability and all these other kind of complex things. So we've, we've taken that barrier away and we've made a service that's really easy for developers to use. And the example that uh, Andy Jazzy gave at our recent summit was that within Amazon, we gave uh, a principal engineer, which is our most senior engineer, and another senior engineer a task of developing a new predictive model. Um, and it took them around 45 days and they got to a point where it was at 92% predictive accuracy. Then what we did is we gave a junior developer access to the machine learning service and it took that junior developer just 20 minutes to come up with the same model, with the same level of predictive accuracy.